The Los Alamos Ranch School's power generator building was constructed in the early 1930s. In 1944, the small stone building was converted into a home for the laboratory's explosives expert, George Kistiakowski. So I got a little, this tiny little house, was a, a room and a half house, converted out of a diesel engine shed or whatever it is, built for the old school. Diesels were too small, they were taken out. Kistiakowski's teenage daughter, Vera, vividly remembers spending two summers with her father in New Mexico. We drove to the Los Alamos Road, and which at that time was very narrow and precipitous. It had not yet been widened, and there were guards at the gate, and there was a tall wire fence that went all the way around. That was exciting. And then we came to the little stone house that had been given to uh, George to live in. Before it had been a Red Cross center, there was a row of houses that had belonged to the ranch school, and it was called Bathtub Row because it had that desirable feature. This house is on bathtub rope. It had a large living dining area uh, with a small kitchen, a Pullman kitchen off it, and a small bedroom and a bathroom sandwiched between the bedroom and the kitchen. I slept in the bedroom and my father slept on a c couch I do remember that we used to have agreements that we would meet for lunch at Fuller Lodge, which was the big recreational area and also housing area for guests, and had the best cuisine on the hill. 